Hey, what is going on, Cancers? Butch Tarot here. Uh, I am going to do your one-week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, I'm going to use the Eight of Coins Tattooed Tarot. Uh, best of both worlds. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new to the channel, you like the content, stay with us. Uh, subscribe. We have a great community here. Uh, we're all about the love. Uh, everybody's welcome. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for cancers? message do we have for Cancer Universe? What message do we have for Cancers? Cancers. So the first thing I see Cancers, I feel like this is, I feel like this is someone that you've known, possibly even for a long time. You know, we have that Six of Cups and the Three of Cups, so I feel like this is someone that not only have you known, but I feel like you have a friendship with this person. You know, I feel like you, you have a I mean, I feel like there's always already this strong bond between the two of you. You know, I I just feel like you know each other. You know, and I feel like, I mean, the reason I say that with, with confidence is, is, I mean, we have the Knight of Pentacles, so I feel like this is someone that's already established trust with you. You already have a sense of trust with this person. And I feel like that's only going to grow. Now, I feel like things have been changing between the two of you. You know, I, I, I feel like the dynamic has changed. And, I, and, I, and the dynamics changed recently because I feel like one or both of you have found love with each other. Either you or them have fallen in love or both. Um, it's become more. You know, and it is something that was built over time. And the connection you share with each other grows deeper and deeper. It's that feeling of being home. You know, it's a feeling of knowing each other, um, understanding each other. It's something that comes with time. And it may have been slow coming, but it, it, it came. You know, and this bond that you share, I feel like it was always kind of apparent there was going to be a lifelong bond, but maybe not to this extent. Now, I feel like a lot of this is how they see you and how you see them. You know, you know each other. You know, I feel like I mean, it's safe to say, I feel like cancer, I feel like you've always kind of known what this person needed. You've always kind of been there for them. And I feel like on their side, it's, they've always made you feel safe. You know, they have always made you feel protected and not so much protected as a physical realm of protection, but protected from judgment. And not to say it isn't physical protection, but it's so much more than that. 
you know, almost like that feeling of you, you don't, you don't feel judged when you're with this person. You know, this person has seen you on the bad days and they don't take any mind of it. You know, they, they understand and they accept you understand and you accept, you know, this person, we have the four of swords in reverse. They don't overthink, you know, they don't look too deeply into those days when you maybe don't want to be around anyone, you know, and there's moments when there is that hot and cold energy and they, they're still there, you know, they're not giving up on you. And I know, um, with cancer, sometimes we, you know, you have days when you're not feeling the greatest and you just kind of want to be by yourself, but not by yourself. And that's another reason why I, I feel like this connection is growing. You know, this person can, I mean, they protect your solitude. You know, they, they can be with you without being all up in your face. You know what I mean? Like, they can just be there with you. And even on those days you may not feel your best, they're still there. And that's why I feel like this is always moving forward. You know, and it continues to move forward with that chariot. You know, you're honest with each other. You can be open and honest. You know, you can talk about anything. And I feel like you already do. You know, I feel like you share the same personal values. And that can be something that is hard to find in a person. You know, and, and it's being with them just feels like home and them being with you feels like home. Um, again, with that lover's card, it's it's that deep connection, but it's almost like feeling like home and not home as in a location, more like home when they're with you. You know, you feel like you're home when you're with them. You know, I feel like, like I said, I feel like you had a lifelong bond. I feel like that was apparent already. But where you fit in each other's life wasn't so much apparent. Um, but I feel like it's becoming more apparent. I see more stability. You know, I see a stable, um, very stable union, very strong union between the two of you. Um, I feel like stability isn't really an issue for this person. I feel like they have their shit together. Um, you know, maybe, maybe that's the reason why this didn't take off earlier. Maybe one of the reasons, you know, because I do feel like this person focused on, on, on getting their shit together, you know, having something to offer, you know, having something that they can build, you know, and like I said, I, I feel like this person, you, you have a very open relationship with this person in the fact that you, you can talk about anything, even, even there's things that you can say to this person without even using words. You know, and, and like I said, we're going back to that understanding. There's going to be moments when that it's that self-imposed prison. And they're going to be visitors. You know, they're going to come visit your prison. <laughs> you know, and it's it, it, like I said, it's sometimes they know it's just about being in your presence. It doesn't have to be them asking you a lot of questions. It doesn't have to be them talking to you at all. Just being around you. It makes them happier being around you. You know, they just like being with you. You know, it's... A, it's, and, and that's the thing. I feel like we, we've developed this sense of loyalty to each other and this sense of trust. And now all is left is just letting the love out. You know, you both want something more. Um, you know, and it's that very nurturing energy with, with both the King and the Queen of Cups coming from different places, but both very nurturing. Uh, very loving, very accepting, you know, and, and very mature. I mean, like I said, it's, this person doesn't try to change you because they like who you are. They've gotten, they've had the time to get to know you. Now it's time to take the next step. It's taking that leap of faith. And I feel like this person is going to tell you how they feel. And I feel like it's going to be a huge romantic gesture. You know, with that Knight of Cups. And I feel like they're going to do it right. I, I, I feel like this person goes above and beyond. 
because there's no real such thing as above and beyond for this person. And where they know you, they know what to do. They they really know that, you know, they can just be themselves. And I feel like you bring out a little bit of that romantic side in them. You know, uh, cancers are such loving, you know, loving people. And they, and they put, they're always there for people. And having someone being there for you is just the icing on the cake. You know, cancers notice the little things. That's one thing I, I, I do notice about um, many of my cancer friends is they notice the little things. Um, I'll get into a story after this, but I feel like that's a part of this person too. They notice the little things about you. And that's why I feel like those romantic gestures are going to really be in your wheelhouse. You know, they're not going to go into a place where uh, you don't feel comfortable. They're, as long as they're with you, that's comfortable for them. And like I said, I mean, a lot of forward movement, um, a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of being able to really express your emotions. You know, like I said before, um, you know, protecting your solitude, protecting who you are. And I feel like with this person, it's almost like they... Them being them allows you to be you and vice versa. You know, and I see this strong connection, like I said, with that Hierophant, the strong union. Uh, and then we have the family card as well. You know, sometimes with cancers, we get with, you know, I don't know why I say we because I'm not a cancer. Um, with cancers, they get with people sometimes that don't really understand. And it doesn't really work out because that person doesn't have the understanding. Uh, with this person, they know you. Uh, they've gotten used to your ins and outs. And you've gotten used to theirs. And that's what that establishment of trust is. That's what that openness is. Knowing how and when it, it's time to talk about things. And not taking things personal. You know, I feel like this person really understands you in a way that no one else took the time to get to know you. And sharing the same, like I said, personal values, um, you know, I, I feel like it's a very, you know, sometimes going from friends to a relationship can be a little bit of a, a transition. But with this, I feel like it's almost seamlessly. You know, there's so much potential here. And I, and, and like I said, um, this is this is a this is a connection that's been cultivated. You know, you really took the time to get to know each other. You know, and it is a connection that, like I said, I I, I feel like from this isn't the first time it felt like it was like this is a bond that you're gonna share with this person forever. This person will be in your life forever. I just feel like maybe it wasn't always clear how you know, the dynamic in which we move forward, you know, as just friends or something more. And, and now I see it as something more. I mean, you may be a little bit surprised that this person feels the same way as you do, but then again, you may not be. Um, with this person, we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, um, we have a little Aries, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, we have some Gemini as well. The problem that I have with telling the story, what I'm thinking with during the read is kind of like, sometimes I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, what I was thinking about at the time. Um, but anyway, um, one of my really, really good friends uh, that's a cancer um, she is she's one of those people that really um, you know she's really deep and me and her have some deep conversations and we, we've developed this certain bond um, now we do have issues because I'm more of a spontaneous person. And sometimes I say things without thinking. Um, 
and she has taken a personal from time to time. But I feel like our bond was strong enough to with, withhold that, uh, withstand it. Um, but I'm telling you, like, she notices the little things. And, and actually one of the first things, um, it was my birthday. And she remembered my birthday, which was noticing the little things because we weren't friends very long. So she shows up at my house, she buys me a gift. Now, I've never taken this as any kind of flirtation because I've always been with somebody as I, as long as I've known her, I've been with, with Rose. Um, so it was never, she was just thoughtful, you know, and it's with her, it never seemed that way. But anyway, for my birthday, she, I remember she brought me a hat and all you know, I love hats. Not only did she buy the hat, she bought my favorite type of hat and she bought a custom fit one that was the right size. Now, right there, we were friends for life. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is I have people in my circle that still don't know my birthday. My best friend calls me somewhere around my birthday every year. By fluke, sometimes he gets it right. He bought me a hat one year. Because it's a go-to thing. If you buy me a hat, you're in, you know? But he buys me a hat one year, and it was the wrong size. So I'm like... Anyway, I kept it. I still have it, actually. It's... Next actually right here. We're going to get it. They won't laugh at it. Not laughing at him. Um, it's this hat here. The San Francisco hat. But it's a size 7. Now, I appreciate him thinking I didn't have a big, huge head. But anyway, um, I kept it, though, because he's my best friend. We've been friends with him for four. Um, anyway. But it just goes to show that she really knew... You know, she really took the time and figured out. I don't know how she even seen she seen my hat, because I have a tendency of leaving the numbers on it. Uh, I know it drives her crazy, but so she was that in like she she picked up on that, and that was just my that's my cancer story. Um, you know, but she's such a great friend. Like she buys us every year. She buys us Christmas gifts. Um, I always remember to buy her. She's. She kind of integrated herself as more like a family member now. Um, but she uh, she recently got with this guy, which I'm really happy about because he's such a nice guy. And I'm telling you, she she's dated some bad ones. And, uh, you know, it's it's nice to see good people find love. Now this guy, they've only been together, I think, I think they're coming on two years. Um, great guy, really nice. Um, he comes over with her sometimes, you know, play cards or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's, he lights her up. You know, they're always together. They're always going into flea markets and stuff. And he's about that and she's about that. That's the thing she likes. And it's so nice when people, two people can come together. The relevance to this, to the story though, is the fact that um, they were friends for probably six months before they went on their first date. And she kept telling me how she really liked this guy, but she wasn't sure how he felt. And uh, so it was, it was nice that he finally came out and told her. But the funny thing is, for the first couple months, you know, they were, they were friends. And then the last three months of her friendship before they got in a relationship... They started to be together all the time. And that was just a telltale sign that they were meant to be together. Uh, or they were going to end up together. But she's super happy. They're actually expecting their first kid. Which I'm really happy for her because she's... Um, she's going to be a great mom. She's such a great person. And I, I feel like he's going to be a great dad. Like I said, I, haven't, I don't know him that well. I've only you know, hung out with him probably... 12 times and was just kind of in a social setting so I never really had a one-on-one -on -one with him um, 
you know, I, I, I've had a chance to talk a few times. He likes a hockey team that I don't like, so that's a that's a that's a strike for him. But good thing we have three strikes in not hockey but baseball. <laughs> um, but he's good to her, you know, and he's a nice he's a nice guy. He's good to her. He, you know, spoils her, and um, you know he's always talking good about her when she's not around, and she's always talking good about him. So. I hope they have a, a great, great life together. And like I said, it's I always I'm always a little bit extra sad when I see someone that tr that completely deserves happiness when they don't have it. You know, I've talked to her a few of her boyfriends over the years because I just didn't like them, but um, I I didn't talk her out of it. She she came up with it on her own, but I handed her around and. Gave her some examples of why I didn't like the why I didn't like them, um, but anyway, this story is going on forever. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.